Good evening students. I am preparing this video for revision of the total cost accounting subject from CMA inter students point of view within maximum 4 to 6 hours one day before the examination. I will tell maximum 25 questions for revision of the total cost accounting subject. I will specify the questions from, I will tell the questions from the our lecture material as well as similar questions from the ICMA study material. We can prepare either lecture material or so CMA study material for revision of the total entire cost accounting subject maximum within 4 to 6 hours. It will be useful for the students one day before the examination. So let us start from the material chapter point of view. So from the material chapter, from material chapter I will specify maximum. Four questions from our lecture material. Question number two, question number eight, question number fourteen, question number twenty-six. Question number two and eight for the EOQ model. Question number fourteen is for the stock levels. Question number twenty-six is for the calculation of total cost of raw material purchased. Normal loss adjustments. So calculation of adding the total cost incurred for bringing the raw material from supplies place to our place. Those con, uh, kind of questions are covered. First two questions are EOQ. Question number fourteen is the stock levels. Question number twenty-six is the calculation of total cost of raw material purchased. So various from CMA material. Various from CMA material. Similar similar questions are. Page number 99, page number 99, question sir, question number 15, question number 16 and question number 19. Coming to the labor chapter, coming to the labor chapter, two models are important from the examination point of view, Halsey and <coughs> Rowan. List one is the labor turnover. From our lecture material, so question number 3, question number 4, question number 6. Labor turnover related questions, question number 13, question number 14, question number 15. From the study material, page number is the 122 CMA study material, ICMA material. So question number 21, question number 22, question number 23, question number 28, question number 30, question number 41 and question number 43. So coming to the overhead chapter, if you analyze the previous examination papers of uh, cost accounting CMA enter, so uh, they may give the question from the material chapter or the labor chapter, uncertainty, they may give, they may not give. Not sure, but from the overhead chapter point of view, from every chapter they are asking the question. Uh, from the overhead chapter point of view, lecture material. Lecture material questions important is the question number 8, question number 9, question number 14. These four questions are deals with the primary distribution, secondary distribution, calculation of predetermined absorption overhead recovery rates. So question number 19 deals with the treatment of underabsorption and overabsorption. Very, 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 very important. So question number 22 is the mission over rate. Mission over rate is also important. Whereas in case of CMA material, ICMA material, CMA material, related questions are the overhead related questions are the Question number, page number 181, questions are 57 and questions are 69. So go to the cost accounting system. Cost accounting system deals with the words sir, integrated system and non-integrated system and non-integrated system. Uh, from the integrated system, non-integrated system, chapter point of view, lecture material. Question number 2, question number 3, question number 4, question number 6 and question number 9. From, study, uh, from our lecture middle point of view, cost accounting system, question number 2, question number 3, question number 4, question number 6 and question number 10. So now, first two, 4 questions are, uh, we can eliminate the question number 4 also, 2, 3, 6 and 10. First two, 2 questions are, general entries of non-integrated system and ledgers. Question number 6 is the reconciliation statement. Question number 10 is the calculation of profit as per the financial accounting system, calculation of profit as per the cost accounting system and preparation of reconciliation statement. Question number 10 is the very, 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 very important question. Please prepare, at least one, try to practice. So various from the CMA material, CMA material. So important questions are the page number 224 and question 2, question 3, question 4, and question number 9 and 10. Cost accounting system from the CMA study middle point of view. So go to the next chapter. Uh, process casting. Process casting. From the lecture material point of view. Question number 10 and question number 16. Question number 10 is the basic preparation of basic process accounts. Process 1 account, process 2 account, calculation of cost per unit, total cost minus normal loss relation divided by expected output. So question number 16 is the EPU, equivalent production units method, FIFO and weighted average. When there is opening work in progress, FIFO and weighted average method. 
from our if you analyze the previous examination paper we can come to the conclusion that question number 10 model is the very very important model they are giving the information they will ask that pre prepare the process one account process to account like that epu uh, less important but try to focus the at least one question from our cma material point of view cma material point of view so process casting important questions are the so question number 24 and question number 27 page number is the 351 is the page number next one is the giant and byproducts giant and byproducts from our lecture material page number seven uh, question number seven question number eight and question number ten in case of giant and byproducts what is the main concept how to apportion the giant cost among the giant products there are the eight methods are there out of eight methods very important methods are the last two methods reverse cost method or the percentage of profits method or uh, XPM, reverse cost method or the percentage of profits method or the net realizable value method from our lecture material question number seven question number eight and question number ten from our uh, cma material page number 384 questions are the 42 44 45 so go to the without wasting the time go to the next chapter after giant and bay products service casting service casting or the operating casting very 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 important so there are the so many scenarios in case of service casting or the operating casting hotels hospitals uh, um, in transportation departments goods transportation departments insurance companies financial service companies so many uh, scenarios are there but out, out of all the scenarios if you analyze the previous examination papers only two kinds of questions are very important transportation passenger transportation as well as the hotels hill area hotels like that calculation of room rent uh, and calculation of the cost per uh, passenger kilometer those kind of questions are important so i am specifying the total to, uh, four questions from the service casting question number three question number six question number eleven question number twelve from lecture material from our, uh, in case of uh, this one uh, cma material so page number 401 questions are related questions are the 51 52 54 56 is sufficient service casting so go to the next chapter now budgetary control next one is the budgetary control question number four question number five question number 14 from the laksha material these questions are in relation to what sir raw material consumption budget raw material purchase budget production budget sales budget cash budget flexible budget at the various capacity level calculation of profit at the 50 percent capacity 60 percent capacity 70 percent capacity in flexible budget first we will uh, first we will show the sales value variable cost portion uh, fixed cost portion profit or loss if it is a semi variable cost if there is a possibility you want to segregate into variable cost portion and a fixed po cost portion like that you know that so i am specifying only three questions in relation to budgetary control from the cma material from our cma material budgetary control cma material budgetary control page number 529 question number 27 question number 28 question number 29 and 30 related questions are the similar questions so coming to the standard casting from a group one point of view cost accounting standard casting how many models are covered only two models are imp two models are covered syllabus material variance and labor variance most if you refer the papers most of the cases 70 percent of the cases they are asking the material variance material cost material uh, price variance material usage variance mix variance and uh, yield variance like that i am specifying the three questions question number three question number five and question number seven various cma material cma material question number 16 question number 19 question number 22 page number is the 502 is the page number so coming to the coming to the marginal casting coming to the marginal casting from group one point of view marginal casting is the very 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 easy if you know the basic formulas if you know the basic concept with regard to the formulas pv ratio contribution per unit bep marginal safety uh, number of units to be sold in the desired profit the concept of key factor if you know the very very basic concept we can easily ask the we can easily answer the questions from group one marginal casting point of view if you, you no need to prepare also for the sake of formality and specifying the questions sir question number four to question number ten very 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 small questions uh, lecture material question number two, four to question number ten uh, whereas in case of cma material cma material cma material marginal casting page number 460 page number 460 page number 460 question number sir six seven and eight are the question number six seven and eight so coming to the coming to the next chapter last chapter contract last but one chapter contract casting very very important chapter from the examination point of view so from our 
from our uh, laksha material point of view prepare the question number 2 question number 3 and question number 5 so if you want to concentrate the cm if you want to prepare from the cma study material the important questions are contract costing important questions are question number 12 question number 14 and question number 16 last last one is the cost accounting standards so cost accounting standards prepare the at least four cost accounting standards that is more than sufficient sir try to give it as a um, choice also that is your wish uh, we can out of seven descriptive questions we can take the two questions as choice so if you want to answer you can give the least preference for the pre uh, preparation of the give the least preference for the preparation of the cost accounting standards sir so prepare the question uh, standard number two standard number three standard number four standard number six and standard number nine and standard number ten from the group one point of view cost accounting cost accounting standards not in depth only the concept of objective of the standard what will be the coverage of the standard what will be the uh, relevant disclosures so in depth the cost accounting standards in depth will be covered in the cma final group two cost and management audit whereas in case of cost accounting group one level very very basics are covered they will ask the questions about the objective of the standard what is the coverage of this scope or the coverage of the standard what are the relevant disclosures of the standard not more than that but my advice is that out of seven descriptive questions one entirely last question eighth question is that uh, total theory question anyway will take it as a choice uh, remaining out of six questions the question which is consisting of the theory question of cost accounting standard give it as a choice remaining five questions you can prepare so based on your preparation based upon your planning but my guessing is that uh, cost accounting standards are two three four six and nine and ten are the important all the best so thank you